hey friend welcome back to my youtube channel web scraping service and in this video uh, i will show you uh, more details about the export in the previous video you already learned about uh, what is export and i already give you an example of what is actually export meaning okay so in this video i will uh, explain more details about the type of export and will give you the example of export so that you can learn more details and so uh, the main purpose of my video uh, is to uh, is to uh, teach you the web scraping and all other details so that you can learn web scraping from me and can earn from uh, uh, internet or can do your own job okay so before starting the tutorial i am requesting you if you are new in my youtube channel please subscribe my youtube channel and after watching this video if you have this kind of project please contact me uh, i will do your job with very cheap rate and the export is basically two types the absolute export and the relative export so now i will uh, uh, i i will uh, give you the example what is absolute export so in my uh, previous video i already show you that uh, an example you see that this is the example of export so this is normally the absolute export uh, which are normally do not change uh, understand so there are lot of website from where you, uh, you have to collect data uh, where the absolute export will uh, the uh, the export will not change and again there are some website uh, like uh, there are some website like linkedin and uh, well, uh, facebook where, where data is automatically updated so in this case the export will be automatically changeable so this kind of export is called the um, relative export or dynamic export understand so here i am showing you an example so i i will uh, i will um, create another video i'll create another not only another lot of video i'll create uh, about the uh, export and in this session i'll i am just giving you the example okay so here you see that here the linkedin it is the uh, some person here and if i just click on here okay just right click on the name or uh, exactly uh, uh, which data you want to uh, scrape okay so i just want to scrape this name so I just uh, right click on that name and here you see that uh, inspect element just uh, inspect element and in that section you see that the name I have just inspect element so this is the name okay so this is the name when you uh, click on this name you see that it is automatically selected so this is the name and from that name again right click on it and you see that copy and go to here copy export you see that copy export so i just copy the export and i'm showing you again okay so i'm just showing you that and i just paste it here we got this export here you see that the one that means uh, something one or two this is this kind of export is the um, absolute export but i will use some other example so in this picture you you see that there is an export and this is called the um, this is called the relative export and i'm just zooming the video and here you see that this is this is called here this parts testing and all other thing will uh, will be changeable so in this case this is called the relative export i hope you will see my next video and please take care and pray for me. Bye. 